Hello and welcome to Novocraft, the YouTube channel for Minecraft moms and dads and adult gamers. And welcome to another episode of my quick and easy tutorials. Wow, can you see the difference here? To the left and right, it's just plain vanilla Minecraft. And in the middle, you see Minecraft played with shaders. Doesn't it look so much more vibrant and colorful and beautiful? To achieve that, you need a few extras or mods. You need a program called Optifine and you need to install shaders. And how this is done, I'll show you in this tutorial. Once again, we first of all open up MultiMC. And here we already have our instance that we're going to use. We're going to open it up now. And what we're going to do here now is to create an example world. Just something so we can see the before and after. So just create a new world. Hey, nice, that is very cool because here we have water and water is of course always something that looks so much better with shaders. It's unbelievable the, the difference that the shaders make with water. Okay, but we also want to go into the nether because as of 1.16, I personally think the nether is absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do here is just build a little nether portal and have a look. And here we go. And now let's go through the portal. And here we are in the nether. Ooh, looking dark and there are fires burning. Yeah, lava coming down, all just plain vanilla. Okay, and after a last glance back, we're heading back to the surface and then we're going to close this game and install everything we need to have a beautiful shaderized look. So the very first thing you need is Optifine. All the shaders need Optifine. All the shaders that I know need Optifine. So here we go to the Optifine webpage. And as usual, all the links will be in my description. And we're looking for the current version. And the current version is for 1.14. However, there's already a pre-release one for 1.16. And that's the one we're going to use. I already downloaded it. And all you need to do once you have done that is to put it in the loader mods folder. And now we can start it again. And we go into our world. And hey, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all. And let's have a look at the menu, at the options, and look at the video options and nothing changed from before. So obviously it isn't working. So why isn't it working? The reason is that Optifine doesn't work with a multi-MC. So you might think, why am I watching a tutorial on something that doesn't work? But the good news is it does work, but it does need Optifabric. Optifabric is another mod that, as the name implies, makes Optifine work with fabric. And Optifabric you can find on the CurseForge page. Again, link is in the description. And here we again have to go to Files. Select the one that is the right one, in our case 1.16.1 and download it. Again, in order to avoid any kind of advertisements, I already downloaded it. And once again, I just have to put it into the loader mod folder. And that is all there is to it because MultiMC makes installing mods such a breeze. Let's have a look again at our world and see if we can see any change. And if you look very carefully at the log here in the picture, you will see that there is already a lot of change in uh, what is logged. At first glance, nothing has changed. But if we look at the menu under options and under the video options, you already see you have a lot more options. Plus, you have, of course, the shaders folder, which is empty. The other thing you notice once you leave the game is that in the lower left corner, you also see that Optifine is installed. Now we're going to look for a shader and we're going to use the Silder shaders. Silder shaders are one of the few shaders that work on the uh, Mac and I have a Mac and I love it. I think it's brilliant. You can see there are lots of different shaders there and you can choose uh, whichever it works best for you, depending how much of a workhorse your computer is. And again, once again, I already downloaded them. And what we need to do now is we need to put them into the shaders folder. 
Basically, there are two options to install the shaders. You can do it from within Minecraft. Um, there is a shaders, or you can open the shaders folder from there. Or you can do it here. You can open the instance folder and then just look for the shader pack folder. There you go. And here we have the shader packs. And we can just copy over the shaders we downloaded. And that's all there is to it as well. Okay, let's start up our instance again. Let's go to our single player world, bring up the menu, click on options and video options, and we go to shaders. And there we have the different types of shaders. And let's try one out. Hey, nice. Even that one is already, I mean, it's beautiful. You can already see the water is different. Do you have a nice shadow here? Let's quickly have a look. Wow, the nether looks so different already. Everything is clearer, but also much, much nicer. And now let's try out another one. Now let's go for the heavyweight here. Wow, even with the menu still on, you can see it. Oh, this looks, oh, this looks beautiful. The shadow and everything, look at that. Wow, this is fantastic. Amazing. How beautiful is that? Let's just take a little flight here. Wow, this looks stunning. This looks perfect. I love it. It's really good. Thanks a lot to the creators of uh, the Optifine mod, of the Optifabric mod, MultiMC, and of course, Sildur's Vibrant Shaders. Thank you very much. I hope this tutorial was interesting for you. Please leave a like if it was. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And for now, it's Novocraft over and out.